Okay, welcome to a webcast, Introduction to Process Control. Quick few minutes to give you an outline of what's going on. Uh, we've got uh, Luke in London and we've got Rick in uh, New York. And uh, I'm sitting here in uh, sunny Perth in Western Australia. You can chat to me, you can uh, talk with the audio, we can do video, we can share programs. We're really in business to do a great course, guys. So first of all, Luke, can you confirm you can hear me okay? Uh, hi Steve, I can hear you quite clearly. Brilliant. Right next to me you sound like uh, Luke. Uh, Rick, uh, are you over there in New York? It's a little bit late in the afternoon, your time. Uh, Rick, can you just confirm you can hear us okay and you can see the whiteboard? Hello Steve, I can hear you very well. Excellent. Thanks Rick. Okay, the objectives are quickly to go through process characteristics, look at time constants and um, obviously to look at process variables, set points and outputs. We're going to be using a software package which will be running on your machines so you can get hands-on experience with the software and with a real process plant. Just before we look at the software, um, I want to look at a process control loop. I'm going to ask you, Luke, uh, can you tell me what a set point is? Uh, yes, Steve, the set point is the value at which, which you wish the process to stabilize at. Excellent. Thanks, uh, Luke. And let's ask our compadre over in New York. Rick, what is a process variable, Rick? Uh, that's the uh, measured uh, value, Steve. Thank you very much, Rick. Absolutely correct. Uh, we're also looking at the control output as well, and um, I'm going to look at that in the context of control of a valve. Just bear in mind, of course, that we are uh, looking at a few objectives of the course, which is to look at process characteristics and also to look at the process variable set point and output. So obviously that's the objectives. And we were going to demonstrate this in the next few seconds by running a real live process control package on your machines and you'll be controlling a live uh, plant here in uh, Perth, Western Australia. Uh, so you'll be able to get hands-on uh, experience with a remote lab. So let's have a look. Um, you should be able to see the uh, package appear on your machines and you can then take control. I'm going to ask you, Luke, uh, as soon as you see the uh, package appearing, I want you to confirm the different parameters, uh, if you can tell me what they are, uh, and just indicate uh, on the screen which will appear now. Uh, you should see this now. Luke, can you see uh, the uh, various parameters? What do you see happening on the screen at the moment? Okay, I can see uh, the load is the grey line, the process variable is the red line, and the output seems to be a blue line. Um, I guess we'll see everything change around. You can see your cursor moving now. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Luke. Over to you, Rick. Uh, what do you see happening with the cursor now, Rick? Uh, I see you moving the uh, set point, uh, Steve. The set point's been moved on the right-hand side. Absolutely right. Thanks, Rick. Um, as you can see, there's a short excursion there with the output. Um, and I'll just finalize uh, by tweaking. As you can see, it's running in automatic mode now, and uh, it is under the control of the PID algorithm, which is what we're going to be looking at uh, in considerable detail over the next section.